Oh, hey, I need a pizza. Don't bother putting any of those fancy toppings on it. Just sauce and cheese. Okay. And because then... sometimes the customers and what they want, it's a little confusing. Right. Yeah. Perfect. I like a cheesy crust. You there know you what I'm go. Saying? I like cheese. Yeah. You also got to watch. He's getting really upset. I. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's. I think he's upset because he's waiting. Yeah. He's gonna be like, oh my god. Dude, it's I just a cheese pizza. I gave you extra cheese, brother. <laughs> no. Six slices. Give me some New York slices. Beautiful. Oh my god, he left! Free pizza. <laughs> Here we go! And welcome everyone to another episode of the 1UP XP Show, episode 118. This week we fire back up the Switch. We are joined by our good friend Katie Berecki. And you might have seen her around 9 and 10. She's an anchor around here. And she wanted me to try out a game called Good Pizza, Great Pizza. Now I've never heard of it before, but it's essentially a pizza shop simulator. You are a pizza shop owner and you have to make pizzas satisfy customers, and eventually, down the storyline, beat the competition across the street. It took me a little bit to get used to, and I think it's safe to say that I am no pizza shop owner runner. Because, well, check out the highlights. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, welcome everyone. Um, this is a newer segment. I have been joined by the wonderful Katie Barecki. Hello. Um, we are going to be playing a Switch game. You, so I said, all right, let's play a game. And you have decided to choose this game. Yes. Good pizza, great pizza. Good pizza, great pizza, yes. I've, I've never heard of this game. <laughs> um, I can already tell from your giggles that this is going to be a fun time. But So tell us about good pizza, great pizza. Why are we playing this today? So it's what people would call a cozy game. If okay. you've ever heard of cozy gaming, it's basically like... Cute illustrations, a super simple game, okay. just something that you don't have to necessarily think while playing. Those are typically my favorite So games. like kind of a keep busy game. Yes. Okay. So basically you are running your own restaurant and you make pizzas for people that come in. And obviously as you get better, you unlock more toppings and things like that. It's just a fun little game to play. It's also available on mobile too. Okay. So if you... See this and you like this, you can get it on your phone as well. Okay, so let's let's jump into it. Let's see. She's giving me the controller today. She <laughs> wants me to try it. Yes. Um, doesn't mean you won't see her playing it, but we're going to test this out. I am Katie today. Yes, you are. You are Blue Bear. I'm Blue Bear. From Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Bear in the Big Blue House. <laughs> close, close. Close. All right. Um, so yes, I know nothing about this. So should I start new or load? Do a new, new game. Got little bears on it. <laughs> where's, where's, oh wait, we'll just do it this way. All right, so new game? New game. All right. Whoa. What am I doing? Oh, I'm putting up the banner? Put up your sign. Oh. <laughs> do you even know what I'm doing? <laughs> now open. Okay, I, I got a pizza joint. <laughs> oh. It's my competitor. It is. It's like the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket. Kind of, or Bob's Burgers. It's very <laughs> Bob's Burgers coded. Another pizza shop. Are you trying to junk up my territory? Do you even know what you're doing? Uh, to be honest with you? No. <laughs> well, that was obvious. Let's see you make a cheese pizza. Just six slices with sauce and cheese. All dollars, please. He also pays for it, which I think is funny. Okay, I'm spreading the dough. Spread your dough. Select sauce. Oh, it's, yeah, I want that sauce. Yes. Hold A to put sauce. L to move cursor. Slow. Oh. I like a saucy pizza. There you go. Yes, but does your customer? I don't know. We'll find out. If they don't like it. Oh well. He's mean. What do so. I? How do I get out of this? 
Oh, cursor. Yeah. Like cheese. Now hold input cheese, move cursor. Okay, so we'll do this slowly. I feel like a lot of cheese in there. Send pizza. Oh, it's in the oven. I did it! I Almost. baked a pizza. Move it so you can see. Oh. Oh, it came it's out. It's going through the oven. Look at that. I mean, that looks like a good pizza. It's, it's beautiful. Cut pizza. Okay, pick up the cutter. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> I feel like this would be... It is so difficult to cut the pizza. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, no, you're not done. I'm not, not done. done. How do go I... Go back. How do I do go back? I think... Oh, oh. no. Oh. He's you're... getting two big pieces. Yeah. <laughs> Deliver. Here you go, bud. Perfect. <laughs> I've ever seen. Of course. <laughs> Well, he's just oh. Um, we want to use a joy gap. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, hey! I need a pizza. Don't bother putting any of those fancy toppings on it. Just sauce and cheese. This complete pen. Right. Unlocked. Right, right. Open More notes. topping. So, in case you forget. Oh, got it. So you can. Okay. And because then... sometimes the customers and what they want gets a little confusing. Right. Saucy. Oh. Um, yep. And we need cheese. Perfect. I like a cheesy crust. You there know what you I'm saying? Go. I like a cheese. Yeah. Garlicky cheesy crust. Oh. Alright, so now we need to send it. Yes. Oh, no. No more cheese. No. More cheese. Send it. No. They want more cheese? Probably. He just a little. Is he like extra cheese or something? You also gotta watch. He's getting really upset. I. Uh, um, sir. Here, press A. You can't press A. Send it. Oh no. Oh. Don't, don't give it. Okay. I'm, no, I'm pressing A and it won't send it. That's sauce. How about R? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember the. How do I go to like the notes? Well, the notes are... Help. <laughs> <laughs> Note Next phase is R. Next phase is R. Yes. Okay. <laughs> ah. He's, I think he's upset because he's white. Yeah. He's going to be like, oh, God. Dude, it's I just gave a you, cheese pizza. I gave you extra cheese, brother. <laughs> and then I got to cut and it. And then you got to cut it. Oh, no. Six slices. Give me some New York slices. Beautiful. Oh my god, he left. Free pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I've clearly not made for the pizza industry. <laughs> I don't know what he wants. He just said pizza. I'm just making a pizza? I'm just making a cheese pizza. I mean, that's all the ingredients I have. So. It is all the ingredients. All right. Yeah, we got that. Oh. All right, so now let's put some cheese on there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, Perfect. Like and then next phase. Oh. Look at you go. Oh, it's already eight o'clock at night. And you've only <laughs> sold, sold one pizza. One pizza. <laughs> and he wasn't happy with it. Alright, got it. Cool. Next phase. Uh I'm here for pizza? Yes. Yes. There you go. Oh! Oh, that was your old pizza. Oh. I didn't even know that. That happened. Oh, I went too slow, apparently? Maybe. You can throw that one away. Oh. Uh, good question. Help. Hold the trash. Which one? The R. Flavor button. Get that pizza out of here. It's a waste. All right. Now you can go back. Oh. oh you don't, don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. There you go. I know, dude. I'm trying. <laughs> So six pieces. Yes. Boom. Okay. Nice. There you go, sir. We gotta deliver it. I get it for now. You have tips. Oh, nice. Almost two bucks. Mm. Look at us. Store store. Two pizzas. Two. Well, everyone's a critic. 
Hey, 19 bucks. Boom. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to pay rent at this, <laughs> <laughs> this route, but... Thank you, Katie, for bringing this in. Of course. Appreciate it. Thank and you. If you want to check it out, it's called Good Pizza. Great Pizza. Great Pizza. Great Pizza, Great Pizza. Good Pizza, Great Pizza. And it is a fun game, so definitely check it out. Uh, and we'll be back after the break with more about the big esports conference from the University of Michigan and see what's next for their second year of being a conference. We'll have all that after the break. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. And welcome back, everyone, to another 1UP XP show interview. Now, back in the fall, we told you about the big esports conference and uh, all the Big Ten teams playing each other for esports. And it was uh, kind of the announcements of these uh, major conferences for collegiate esports. Well, I told Kevin from the University of Michigan uh, at the beginning of the season, I said, let's do a wrap up at the end. Well, we have hit that moment where uh, the big esports conference wrapped up about two weeks ago. And so I'm joined by Kevin Palmer once again from the University of Michigan talking about the Big Esports Conference. Kevin, welcome. Appreciate you being here. Um, Big Esports Conference, first year for you guys. Um, it was a heck of a year. Uh, we ran uh, ran at the beginning with all the information. We ran a midseason um, kind of update with how the teams and leaderboards were going, the standings. And then you guys had the blowout land at the end of the season in Columbus, Correct. Correct. And you had everybody come up, and then uh, you had everybody play, and you crowned some champions. So how did the big eSports conference first year play out? Uh, way better than expected. Uh, <laughs> great. Uh, to be honest, yeah, to be honest, we, um, you know, we were thrilled to have 16 out of the technically 14 Big Ten schools play. So USC <laughs> and UCLA jumped in this year. Yep. Um, and having the land in Columbus to kind of, bring it all home uh, was a was a smashing success. We had 13 Big Ten schools show up. Uh, UCLA actually flew all the way out to Columbus wow. and participated. They brought a crew of about 30, um, and it, it was a great time. The students had a fantastic experience. Um, shout out to, and this is rare from my end, shout out to Ohio State for, for hosting <laughs> and putting on such a great event. Um, and also Game Arena uh, for also facilitating the competition. Valorant, Overwatch 2, Super Smash, and Rocket League. And if you have um, at your disposal, who took home the crowns for those titles? Yeah, so uh, it was different than the way the regular season ended, okay. uh, except for in Smash. So Michigan State won the regular season and the uh, land championship in Super Smash Ultimate. Mm -hmm. So um, Coach Bilski's got a great team over there, and they did really well, uh, performed at their at their highest level as expected. Uh, and then we had some mi mix-ups. So in Valorant, uh, Indiana won the regular season there and actually is a um, pretty high up C-Val contender. Uh, I think they just got knocked out this last week. Um, but Purdue ended up upsetting and taking home the Valorant land championship. Wow. Um, and then on the flip of that, Indiana took home the Rocket League uh BEC championship so the great mix up there and then i think the biggest turnaround and this is kind of one of the most exciting parts of what this conference has kind of done for some of these schools uh if you looked you know back at when you were doing your mid-season update mm -hmm. maryland was near the bottom of the table yeah. for overwatch mm -hmm. and maryland actually beat michigan and pulled the upset in the bec championship for overwatch 2 so wow. uh, complete flip on the program they performed really well and those uh three out of those four teams michigan state did not attend and got a qualifier to go to the commissioner's cup in arlington just a couple weeks ago wow. and uh yeah it was a great experience so um shout out to all those schools for putting in the hard work and and taking home the first ever trophies. Now, I know there's a lot of things that are probably brewing that we can't talk about just yet, um, but there is some big things uh, when it comes to how this season played out. When I said we had a kind of our, there were some small issues. The Big Esports Conference spans from West Coast to East Coast. So there's some ping issues, connection issues. Um, you're talking that you're looking to go West Coast, East Coast, and then everybody at a land at the end of the season for a championship, right? Yeah, so um, this year we experimented with having a 15-week season, and that was um, honestly was a great format. Right. But we learned some things like between winter break, just the, mm -hmm. some of the roster changes mm -hmm. and things like that were sometimes too hectic. Um, and also we've got new schools joining the Big Ten that are on a quarter system so okay. uh, rather than traditional semester. So uh, we're looking to switch to uh, – 
the just a fall and winter spring um, seasons and split up the game titles. But then um, also we're going to have 18 schools in the conference split the uh, east and the west uh, because we had, like you said, uh, significant ping issues. If Rutgers was playing USC and Valorant, mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't the best paying for either side. So right. um, that's that's what we're looking to do. We still have a, a couple of meetings to go in and lock those things. But we uh, the idea is that they'll have a regular season. They'll play their um, eight week season. Top four teams go to playoffs. We'll have an East champion and a West champion for each game title. And then where we'll have the overall big esports champion will be at our annual LAN, which we're looking to host sometime in uh, February, March timeframe to make sure we're not interfering with other big lands that go on later in the year. So you kind of, would you have uh, those four titles in each one or are you splitting those titles up from fall to spring? So we're looking to split them up between fall and spring. Okay. So right now we're looking at Rocket League and Valorant being in the fall okay. and then Overwatch and Smash being in the spring. So that also helps us um, balance out with some of the developer ran leagues so that way we're not running interference there. Uh, CVAL is such a huge thing in the spring. Uh, we had a lot of interference this last semester and making sure teams had times to play. So we're trying to trying to avoid those things as uh, as much as possible. New schools this year. You have Oregon and Washington joining as well, right? Correct. Yeah, we uh, we just had our first planning meeting yesterday, and um, Oregon and Washington both present and active in the conversations, and really excited to be joining us. Um, having that West Coast presence of four schools now is mm -hmm. uh, going to be a really really big for how we expand our audience for these, you know, big esports, big 10 competitions. Um, because one thing that was really interesting that we learned is we, we did not do a lot of marketing this year. Right. Uh, and that was done on purpose because we wanted to see what traction could be built from the programs themselves. Right. And uh, to our surprise, we pulled in thousands and thousands of views and interactions. Uh, the, the land itself Hold in some 150,000 interactions wow. um, just in the first uh, few days after the, the conclusion of the LAN. So I'm, I haven't checked those numbers recently, but I'm sure they've gone up. Uh, so alumni and students and, people, and fans of these schools are paying attention. So it, it, Oregon and Washington come with a huge fan base and we're excited to bring them in. And don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more from Kevin Palmer about the Big Esports Conference. Do you have an idea of what the line will be for West and East? What schools will be West? What schools will be East? Yeah, so we're looking at um, Northwestern, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and then everything West of that. So Nebraska, Minnesota, right. USC, UCLA, Washington, and Oregon being in the West. And then Illinois and everything East being in the East side. Are schools still going to have the kids taking care of production? Are they going to? Are you guys looking at maybe kids running with a big esports streaming um, kind of channel, or what? What's going to be happening with kind of the broadcast and production side of it for next year? Yeah. So during the fall of last year, we uh, piloted the BEC YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and great thing about you know YouTube is I can have fifty stream keys right. and I can give each school one. So. Um, going into this coming year, we're really going to make the push on schools to be streaming their matches. We are putting in a requirement that all matches must be recorded from an observer point of view and uploaded um, because there's been some disparity on scouting. So mm -hmm. in traditional sports, when I coach soccer, I had to put my game film onto a cloud right. so all the other coaches could look. So we're going to be doing that anyways. And we hope that kind of leads into the encouragement of, well, if you are going to be required to record this, add a voice to it and stream it. And um, we'll be, you know, we'll build out the entire streaming package. So it's really just kind of click and go, uh, plug in a microphone for those schools that are maybe trying to build up that. Um, and then for other schools like, Maryland, Ohio State, Michigan State, they're, um, UCLA, they all have really great streaming programs. So mm -hmm. we're also kind of banking on them to lead the charge. Um, and then in August, we're looking to put on a production and casters clinic for Big Ten students only. So oh, very cool. we'll have, we've got some of the greatest talent in the space that will come in and take a, a couple of days online to teach some soft skills, 
um, and even some advanced skills for those students that do have experience. So that way we can constantly up um, the skill level and experience these students have, because ultimately when they graduate, right, we want them to f pursue their dreams and hopefully uh, I'll land a job with the experience they get. I think you guys are on the right path. Um, but again, Kevin Palmer from University of Michigan, Big Esports Conference. Thank you again, brother, for being here and breaking down the first season. Looking forward towards the second season and what uh, you and every school has to offer in the uh, Big Ten and the Big Esports Conference. I appreciate it. No, thanks for having us here. And uh, we look forward to having you part of uh, your, we call it this year, year zero. Next year is year one. So yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, we're looking forward to having you a part of it. Maybe we'll even get you on the on the casting call for some of these games. <laughs> and again, a huge thank you to Kevin Palmer from the University of Michigan for sitting down and talking to us about the first year of the Big Esports Conference and what they have planned for the second year. Bigger, better, and I guarantee you it's going to be a lot more fun. Uh, not that the first year wasn't fun, but I just feel like the second year is going to fix a little bit of this here and there, and it's going to be running on all cylinders. Don't go anywhere. We have one more segment here left on the 1UP XP Show. We'll be right back. And that does it for this week's episode of the 1UP XP Show. Thank you so much for joining us. Next week, we'll have more streams, we'll have more interviews, and we'll also have another episode of the 1UP XP Show. So be good, stay safe, take care. I'll see you guys all next week. I gave you extra cheese, brother. <laughs> no. Six slices. I'll give me some New York slices. Beautiful. Oh my God, he left. Repeat pizza. Here we go!